Jackson is doing the elementary school circuit for the blues in the schools this year. Coming through, hot soup, hot soup. For Jackson, it's all about getting kids like Mackenzie engaged with some rhythm and blues. Today is Jackson has been performing at schools around the world for the last 20 years. In terms of music education, okay, it's just a thin slice of what they're probably going to learn. But they'll, I tell them they don't even have to like the blues, but if they don't like it, they should know why. He uses music to help get kids to come out of their shells. Good for them to see that you can separate yourself from the herd and it's not the end of the world. And that's exactly what Mackenzie did. My mind said, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. But the decision to teach kids about the blues didn't come so easy for Jackson. I says, ma'am, I'm a blues man. I sing whiskey drinking and cheating songs. They don't have the wherewithal to put blues together. And she says, all you had to do is play a few songs. And now he sees the importance of passing the history of jazz and blues on to the next generation. As soon as they get their hearts broken, they'll just wander into the gate and say, Where's it? I need it. can I have a seat? And they'll be there to enjoy and keep these traditions going. Children like Craig Tago. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Jackson and other artists will be visiting 21 schools during this year's Harvest Jazz and Blues Festival. Caroline Jadinski, CBC News, Fredericton.